Hi folks, Tim here from High End Cheap Tech, and tonight we're going to talk about the uh, two silicon power drives, I, you know, my old one versus my new one. Which one's faster? Which one's better? Surprising results coming up right after the intro. Let's get to that right now. Hi folks, Tim here just cutting in. Quick message about TubeBuddy.com, as you will see coming up on the screen right now. TubeBuddy is the premier tool for helping you edit and maintain your presence as a creator on YouTube. It integrates flawlessly. They have a free version. Uh, it goes right into your browser and you use it as you're you know, doing your editing and, uh, and uploading. And it, it's an excellent tool. Uh, as far as prices go, the price is coming up on the screen. Um, if you get the free version, a lot of times they'll offer you, uh, they'll make you an offer. They made me an offer and I'm only paying $4 and 50 cents a month. So check it out at the link that you're going to see on the screen and at the link below, uh, www.tubebuddy.com forward slash high-end cheat tech and now let's get back to that video we were doing all right folks yeah we gotta throw the ads up there we don't do the ads we don't make any money because we don't get no subscribers uh so you're about to see a picture pop up and you'll just hear me from here on out it's going to cover the whole screen hopefully uh they'll be marked you know 240 and 512 underneath and you can reach your own conclusions you will see that the old 240 which is sitting in the Sabrent USB external drive actually runs quicker than the newer one as far as reads go a little bit not a whole lot but negligible but still you know, you would expect the newer one to run faster. But, considering I paid more for the old 240, than I did for this one, you'll notice, though, that the new one has higher write speeds than the old one does. And that is super cool. Those are important too. Now I did these you know, using 512 gigabyte or 512 megabyte segments because it takes forever to run the one gigabyte standard test on Crystal Disk Mark 7 point whatever. Uh, it took me a hell of a lot of time to try the latest and greatest Crystal Disk Mark. And I couldn't even get a decent copy of that because there are so many sites saying, oh, download it here, and they're awful malware and crap. It's hard to find. When you want to know a good site to get a clean copy of Crystal Dismark, I think it's 8.2 is out now. I'm all for it. So you can reach your own conclusions. But considering the price of the new one, there you can't tell any difference in the performance of the PC itself. This is still way quicker than any hard drive you'll ever use. And it's a great way to speed up any old PC. And remember, we're running on the Zotac, which is from 2015. So... That's all I have. You'll see an ad coming up from a future, hopefully future sponsor. I promised them that I'd do an ad for them. This is for this drill. So that's going to come up. And then at the very end, make sure you like us and subscribe to us and 
maybe share this video and leave some feedback. Tell me what you think about these two drives. Thanks for watching. Oh, wow. Hi, folks. Tim here on behalf of Disk Drill. It's data recovery software that you might want to try out. Uh, their link, their picture of their website is going to be up here in this corner on that side. Uh, to my uh, right. And uh, we'll stretch that out a little so you can kind of read it on the screen. And uh, also, the link will appear on the screen below for about five, six seconds. And it'll be in the description below. Make sure to check them out. You can go to their website, download the free version, try it. I mean, if you got something you just need to recover a file or two, it might be worth your time. And then maybe you'll want to upgrade to the Pro. Who knows? Let's get back to what we were doing previous to this.